I think before I read this, what I want to say on behalf of yourself, KJ, is that your dad was a person who lived ahead of his time. And I think that the legacy that he has left are things that I see that you can pick up on. I was here not because I'm your colleague, but because about 30 or so years ago, as a student leader in Kenyatta University, I began a program called the Kenyatta University Cultural Week as the then Secretary General of KU. It is during that time that the entire crew of KJ, Walter Mungare, Kajairo, Tony Juguna, I have seen Mwanzia there, and the entire entourage of young, including Churchill, became budding uh, uh, entertainers, comedians, and leaders. Because leadership is not just about the positions we occupy in election. It is the sort of leadership that I have seen in KJ, and in res irrespective of our political divide, KJ watches what I do, and I watch very keenly what he does in Dagoretti. Last term, when I brought a bill called the Youth Employment Empowerment Bill, KJ was the one who seconded it. And it would have created a 50 billion youth fund, which, were it not for the then chairman of budget, Kimani Ichungwa, the hustlers would have started being hustlers four years ago. Allow me then to read the message of His Excellency Raila Amolo Odinga. Condolence message on the demise of former MP Honorable David Waweru Ngede. I learned of the death of David Waweru Ngede with great shock and dismay. Honorable Ngede was a selfless leader who served the people of Kandara constituency as member of parliament and the nation at large as a fearless legislator who stood firm for the plight of the ordinary Kenyans. It is important to note that in the early days of post-independence Kenya, when our nation was grappling with diminishing political space, Honorable David Waweru Ngethe will be remembered as one of those who had the nerve to speak truth to power and paid a heavy price for it. As the struggle for the second liberation picked pace, Honorable Ngethe joined forces with other progressive Kenyans across tribal divide to most importantly help in repealing Section 2A of the Constitution, allowing the return of multi-party politics in Kenya. Honorable Ngethe understood the intrigues of global geopolitics, the independent struggle, the plight of gallant African anti-colonial movements, particularly Mau Mau, and most importantly, what needed to be done to achieve the elusive Kenyan dream. Kenya has therefore lost a patriot, a fearless defender of people, and a true pan-Africanist. It is my prayer that God Almighty will grant his family grace and fortitude in this difficult time. May the soul of Honorable David Waweru Ngethe rest in eternal peace, signed Right Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, EGH, on the 18th of May, 2023. Thank you. Santa Sana, Your Excellency, to Samehe, to Mechukua Muda Kidogo, but I think it was important.